Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. So in past few months I've made a lot of cinematic edits and in, in all of them I add these 3D texts and you guys seem to like them a lot since many of you have been asking me for a tutorial on them for quite a while and literally two days ago we hit 300 subscribers. So as promised, I am bringing you guys a new series or a playlist called Tutorials and Stuffs where I'll be uploading many GFX and VFX tutorials which you guys will be requesting me. So in today's video, we're going to be learning about the 3D text that you guys have been asking me for so long. So first, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that on Android. And of course, I will be posting videos on how to do them on iOS and PC as well. But I cannot do that in a single video because that will be too long. So the app I'm using for Android is called Prisma 3D. It's available on Play Store for free. As you guys already know, I'm against getting a pirated app or a modded app. So most of the time, I will be providing you guys uh, apps that are completely free. Since I do know quite a few of them that gets the job done. So anyway, this is going to be the interface that you're going to see when you open the app. Then tap on new, then you're going to see something like this. So you're going to tap on the cube on the top left corner and select text. After that, tap here to modify your text. I suggest you guys to do this letter by letter since that will be easier for you to animate later on. Also, you can select a texture and a color from here. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna make it white and I downloaded a few textures from the internet. Again, tap on the top left cube and select the light bulb option to add some light. We're just gonna in increase the intensity a bit to make it brighter. You guys can select these and change these according to your needs. I've seen people doing a lot of crazy stuff like changing the color of light and direction of light to do a lot of cool stuff. So who knows, maybe you guys can do something better than me. You can change the fonts from here too. So I noticed the eye is a bit too much extruded in the jet direction. So we're just going to change that. You guys can do that by tapping on this icon here and by dragging the axis. So once that is done, I want you guys to tap on anywhere on the screen to deselect everything and then select the text and light layer on the top right. Once you select that, you'll see these options. Now tap on this group icon to make them a single group. So as you guys can see, under the group layer, there is the light and the text layer. Once that is done, tap on the group again and select copy. It will make a copy of the whole group. So the number of groups depend on the number of letters you have in the text that you want to make. You can reposition the characters by dragging the X, Y and Z axis. To do that, you have to make sure that this icon is selected. So I just want to write IZ, so I'll have four copies of this object. Now you have to select a group, go to the text layer and change the text to whatever you want. In my case, I'll be choosing Z and I'm also going to be changing the font. You have to do this for every single object that your text has. So I'm just going to fast forward this so that you guys can see the final results. So while I'm at it, let me also know in the comment section below what other tutorials you guys want me to do. And I will choose uh, the most requested tutorials and deliver them every week or every other week depending on the demand of the video and uh, also the work I have at hand. So anyways, once that is done, tap here to go to the animation window. You will see this small timer below. This will be your timeline. Also notice that I have the first group selected. So by default, the timeline is in 30 FPS. That is one second is divided into 30 frames. So in here, one frame is marked by one division or one line uh, in this timeline. So this is the 60th frame, that is the end of two second. I tapped on this button here to add a keyframe there. Now let's go back to our first frame, that is the frame number zero. 
Now we're gonna select this icon to make our objects rotate. Also notice that I have the entire group selected so the light and the text layer both will rotate together. After rotating as much as you like, tap on this icon again to create another keyframe. Make sure to remember the order of the steps because that is important. Now select every other group and do the same. Once that is done, you can tap on this button to see a preview. That looks good to me. I'm just gonna save this project now. Oh yes, you can also add a black or green plane behind the text so that you guys can add this to any of your clips using either chroma key or blend mode. Just tap on the cube and select plane and also change its color according to your needs. Reposition the plane behind the text. Then scroll down to rotation on the left side and make the first rotation angle to 90 that will rotate the plane uh, by 90 degrees on x-axis select the size tool again and expand the plane by x and y-axis also one more thing if you guys want to have more control over the camera you guys might as well create a new camera I'm sorry that's my neighbor's dog barking in the background after you create a camera, you just have to set the angle that you want your text to be seen. Once that is done, we're all set to render this thing. To render, just tap on option menu and select render. You can change the default settings to match your composition and just start rendering. After rendering, for some reason, it doesn't save in your internal memory. So I suggest you guys to save into your Google Drive. That way you can download it from your drive after you save it and uh, that solves our problem. Then you can use other apps to track it onto your clips. Just use blend mode or chroma key to add them onto your clips. So that is all for this video guys. If you have any more tutorial ideas let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me that you love me